Well, Kid Rock announcing earlier this week he's not running for Senate in Michigan. Kind of a bummer, but instead this outsider is looking is looking to get in and it is getting into the campaign. It just got started. John James is an Iraq War Army veteran who has already raised more than three hundred thousand dollars in a month for his Senate bid, a campaign to replace Democrat Debbie Stabenow. Some say he could be the future of the GOP, and he joins us live now. John, good to have you with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. All right, you're going to have a busy year ahead. So many people are being introduced to you for the very first time. Who are you? Well, I am a conservative outsider. I'm from the state of Michigan, born and raised here. I uh, left Michigan to serve. I went to West Point, graduated in 2004, became a second lieutenant in the United States Army, um, became a Ranger qualified Apache pilot, and uh, flew for 750 hours of combat over Baghdad. Uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom, 0709. And you know, Michigan was really hard hit by the recession. And while I was over fighting for Iraqi freedom, I looked back home and I saw Michiganders suffering. I really didn't feel like there were enough people fighting for Michiganders. So I came back and I joined my family's business to do what I could in the community. Uh, and I was able to, uh, to grow the company from 35 million to 137 million mm -hmm. and increase the number of jobs from, two, uh, from 100 to 200, uh, increasing economic opportunity for those mm -hmm. in my community. John, uh, both your parents are Democrats, but you say you've always been a conservative. How did that come about? Look, I was raised in the church, and uh, I understand um, that the, the freedom that my God and my country have guaranteed me allow me to be an independent thinker. My father is also a Vietnam War vet. He's a combat veteran, and he's done a lot for his community as well, but I was able to think for myself. I've been a conservative uh, for all my life, and I've been re a Republican for half of it. And I'm a Republican because I'm conservative, and I believe that we need to continue to fight for conservative values um, for a long time to come. Well, and John, you talked about the economy and growing jobs. Uh, there's a big debate going on in Washington right now. If you were in the Senate, you'd have to be dealing with this tax cut plan that is still being hashed out. Uh, and you also say you're an independent thinker. And I wonder, as a Republican running, uh, do you support the president's agenda? How do you think President Trump is handling his job right now? I absolutely support our president's agenda. Um, he started by placing people like General McMaster, uh, General Mattis, and General Kelly around him to inform him. These generals um, are best to advise him on how to keep Americans safe, um, how to secure our borders and our entry points. Um, and I believe that Michigan voters have the chance now to put another combat veteran to fight for them and to fight for conservative values on the floor of the U.S. Senate. You have 10 senators up for re-election in states that President Trump won. You are in one of those states in Michigan, so the question is going to be, what is the mood in that state? How are they feeling about how the president is doing? Because that will impact the support that you'll get, I'm sure. Well, absolutely. Our president is doing very well in the state because people feel like our president is fighting for them. Uh, our president, like me, is a conservative outsider, but I'm a combat veteran who understands national security from a strategic to a tactical standpoint. And as this world is becoming a more and more dangerous place, people want a combat veteran on the floor of the U.S. Senate who understands what it takes to keep Americans safe because he's actually done it. And also from a business perspective, I am a business leader who understands economic opportunity uh, and all the nuances there of not just creating jobs, though I've done that, but not just theorizing about it or doing it philosophically, but actually creating jobs. That's what, some, that's what we need on the floor of the U.S. Senate and understanding that the role of a limited government and uh, to, to generate business and to stay out of, uh, of our, our business and put more tax dollars back into Americans' pockets. John, my notes say that you're filming 100 unscripted videos over the next 100 days. <laughs> you can skip today. You got your video right here. Sure. Uh, just to, you know, <laughs> sleep in a little bit. John, John James, good luck on the campaign trail. Yeah. Appreciate it. And you have a beautiful family.